Okay, seedlings, we're at it again. And even though you can't see it, I'm testing out using a controller now, which should help reduce some of the keyboard clicking sounds. The only thing I don't like is I'm using a PlayStation controller because that's all I have. So like a lot of games, they automatically default to Xbox button names like A and B and X and Y instead of the classic and much preferred square, circle, triangle, and X, but I'll live with it. It looks like you just move around with the thumb pad and the other one just controls your direction. Controls, controls the direction you're looking. If I want to use my um, tool, then I can use the D. If I want to look at my, like my backpack, I can use the D pad and push up and that activates it. And then of course I can just use the D pad either to move around or I can just use my arrow keys. LB and RB, of course, move tabs. Left trigger moves categories, etc., etc. B, close, hold, and eat. And then so I can bring up my map. I can bring up the world map. We haven't seen anything down to the south yet. It looks like there's some cool stuff down there. So if, Graham, so if Bill doesn't have anything important for us to do today, then we'll go ahead and go look down there. And then um, now the tools... Now that's on the um, actual buttons. So like if I hold down the square button, which I guess is the A on the Xbox, if I hold it, if I just press it, it doesn't do anything. But if I hold it down, then it brings up the tool wheel. So I can equip a tool. And the only tool I have right now are these, obviously. But I can, um, if I go up and down, it'll allow me, allow me to do things like equip apples, which are throwable. I can throw apples, mushrooms, pears. I can throw a pond lurker at somebody. I know you have to make friends and, and try to get a wife in this game. It would be really interesting if there was a woman that would really want you to throw a pond lurker at her. Uh, so containers, I can equip the wooden bucket for carrying the poop or the tin bucket for carrying the water. So yeah, there's the tools. I'm gonna go ahead and equip the fishing pot. Now I don't know what the, um on the game, on the PlayStation controls the X, you see, I can equip up to three different tools or I could equip my fishing rod three times if I was just really that into fishing. I can have three different tools equipped, but I don't know what the bottom button does. It's just not there. So I don't know what that's going to do at some point later. So let's go see what Uncle Bill has something to do. Uncle Bill had his birthday yesterday. I'm off to Festival Green to pay homage to Drita. Every week we make her an offering on Goddess Day so that she will smile on us. And with Summertide almost here, it's more important than ever that we gain her favor. Why don't you meet me down there and I'll show you. It's about time you learned our ways. You won't get far in life without the blessings of the goddesses. So we are still pretty much in the... Um... Alright, so when you click on her, then you have to highlight the talk and let go. I've been making my own maps the veil, but I want to see more. Who knows what else is out there? Quill is a big place. So how are you as A? Which I guess is, yeah, so A is that one. I'm good, thanks. What's hat? Oh, goodbye. And so that's that one. And that just takes a while to get to. I mean, I guess it doesn't take a while to get used to. So we put stuff in there, so we should be fine on. Now, if I want to fill up a bucket, so interact. So this says water. Can I gather water? Uh, I can't gather water with that tool. So let's equip our, let's equip our watering can instead. Equip it. All right, so now it's equipped. So now it says, all right, so you need to be, you need to, all right, so how do I fill it up? Interact. So that's, that's equipped. All right, so uh, sorry, I just, I'm just not, it just takes me a while to get used to these buttons. If I interact, you need to empty an existing container to find a new one. So I'm guessing my watering can is still, ugh. All right, so there is a watering can is selected. So if I press water, okay, so it's still full of water. This is very exciting gameplay. I'm sure you're um, just thrilled that you tuned in today to watch me try and empty my watering can, which apparently can't be done. I guess the, it's, a, it's a watering can of infinite water. So I could just walk around and water the entire valley, which is an interesting gameplay. So I can check that. So now we got that. 
Seaster didn't have anything to say to us today. The watering trough is still full, so we'll go ahead and interact with the, we'll go ahead and water our pig. And then we'll go ahead and put away that, and then we'll interact with the pig. Go ahead and feed him, or her. Got an apple. No, they like apples. Okay. They got a lightning bolt for some reason. So we're gonna go ahead and ride the pig. And then we need to go to the um, village to attend the goddess festival. So we're still kind of pretty much in the tutorial, which is why there hasn't been a whole lot going on at this point. I mean, we're just learning the basic game mechanics. We learned how to do some cooking. We learned how to do some smithing, which is one of the reasons I switched over to the controller was hoping that maybe uh, using the, I'm guessing that when we do the smithing that where you have to do the grinding that using the two, um, We'll probably use the triggers to do the grinding instead of the um, left and right, left and right, the left and right mouse button on the controller. All right, so how do we bring up our, now you can still use the, as soon as I use the mouse, it brings this up so I can bring these things up. If there's certain things that you prefer to do on the mouse, you still can. You can tell that I'm an expert in everything at the moment. All right, so attend Druid of the Day's festivals. Is that that or way? So close. Now, how do we use, now there's, I don't think there's a button for the that or way. Let's see. Oh, get back on the pig. Ride the pig. Maybe it's, nope. That shows you the interactive objects. There we go. It's in case you're curious, and I know you are, it's the, um, left you press in on the left joystick i guess it's the l3 is what they call it you press in on the left joystick to act activate the that way all right so we're attending druida's festival so here's uncle bill of course the goddesses will be happy that i'm coming to pay homage to them riding a pig glad you could join me there are a few things i can teach you that are more important there are a few things that i can teach you that are more important than the rituals of the goddesses how we worship determines how we live and what fate has in store for us. Everywhere you go, you'll find goddess statues where you can make an offering on goddess day like this one. But what pleases one goddess may offend another. So take, take care to see what effect your offering will have. We know all this. Whatever boons and blessings you earn will last all week, but so will the misfortunes. So be sure to choose wisely and consult the statues to see where you stand with each goddess. Don't neglect them, though. If you fail to make any offerings or insult them with poor gifts, you might find yourself jinxed or even cursed. Wurzel Scrumpy keeps trying to catch flies now and then with his tongue. All right, so we got to give the goddess an offering. We'll come up here on the pig. So let's uh, make offerings. Let's see. Druida, superstar fruit. Each collected fruit or berry has two additional qualities. So Druida Boon... Nick Berries, Bump and Ride, medium chance for any collected fruit to yield two, high chance for any collected fruit or berry to yield two. Each collected fruit or berry has two additional quality stars. So which one of these? So the, so if we do this, we'll get a curse. And the curse, all right, so crops take an additional day to grow. So if we if we make an offering to Druida, then Frail will give us a boon, which is crops take an additional day to grow. Nick Berry's crops limited to one star quality. Crops do not grow. Well, we don't want that one. Mutiny on the bounty. So it looks like. So it looks like this one here. Oh, okay. We need Very Berry. Low chance for any collected berry to yield two. Each crop limited to a, yielding a single item. So it looks like we can. The more powerful the boon, the more powerful the curse, obviously. And then, like this other one with Frail. Low chance for harvest to grow below two crops. So Drita looks like we're gathering stuff and Frail looks like we're planting stuff. So at this point, I would say probably fruit or berry to yield two crops limited to one star quality. I would say at this point, since right now we're pretty much limited to collecting stuff, this would probably what we do. I don't have any items to offer for the boon. Okay. Will she take anything? So I, we don't have anything to offer. 
Select, you don't have any selected, so it doesn't tell us. All right, so we have to have particular items. Okay, so I guess, all right, so let's go back to Dorita. I guess we have to have a two-star item. Okay, we have to have a two-star item. Okay, yeah, so we can offer a two-star item to get a two-star boon or blessing. So we could offer Frail that. We're gonna offer Dorita that. Low chance for any collected berry to yield two or low chance for any harvested growable to yield two. So this is pretty, you know, I can just give one strawberry and that takes care of that goddess. Chickens lay an extra egg each day or no misfires. I don't know what a misfire is. Bees do not produce honey. So we don't have anything to offer that goddess. Dart, all right, we can offer Morena fish, regain one arrow per room or chance to gain extra quality star from each mine. Chance of no loot from monsters with no pockets. So we can't do anything with her. So we can regain one arrow per room. So let's go ahead and just do one. Let's get rid of that. Because we don't want to get him cursed. So we have... We can't do anything with Helios or Nada. Because we don't have any offerings to give them. Oh, I guess we can give Nada this. The chance that our chickens aren't going to lay any eggs. I don't know how I feel about this. Free resurrection in combat, that's good. Low chance to find seeds from grass cut with a sickle. Okay, these last all week, so we'll see what happens. All right, so there's six goddesses. And we have, so that means three offerings each week. And so, so the boons aren't really that bad. But the bigger of a boon, I mean, the curses aren't that bad, but it all depends on the boon. So the bigger boon, the bigger the curse. But it doesn't look like even the worst of the curse is that bad, right? Let's see. Like, children learn and gain experience quick, twice as quickly. Spouse, kids, and pets become ancient. Okay, well, maybe that is kind of bad if your kids become ancient. I'd hate to have ancient kids. That seems kind of weird, but... It is video games and all. And don't we all love video games? That's why we're here, right? I'm sure you're not just watching this to hear me talk. Although I do have quite the charming voice. All right, so let's go back to so that. Supergrass. Everybody loves Supergrass. All right, so confirm offerings. All right, so then... All right, so we confirm. So now we go back. Leave without offering, so I want to stay. But how, all right, so I have, do I have to, do I have to make an offering for each goddess or, because I don't have anything to give all of them. Uh, all, right, all right, so I can give Morwina the uh, fish. Okay. So that's that. All right, so if we confirm, that's confirm, Naya's offering. Super grass. Our chickens are gonna land here, so A B okay A B X Y. There we go. Make three offerings. Offer is A. Alright, so X is A. I hate these button mappings. We can't change them. So A is offer, so let's make these offerings. In good graces, make an offering to the goddesses. So now that only took ten minutes, we'll figure that out. So our boon, very berry. We'll get extra berries possibly, but we'll only get one item. And so layoffs at the coop. Our chickens are not gonna lay any eggs this late week. Low chance to find seeds from gas to cut with a sickle. And ore nodes are gonna take an additional day to replenish. We're not doing that much in the way of farming at the moment. Let's see if we can, speaking of farming, we can buy an apple. We can buy carrot seeds. So let's buy carrot seeds. We have four money. Why can't I have no kids and two money? All right, nothing down here. What's this dude got? This dude's selling wheat seeds. And something you need. What's this guy? Oh, we don't want to do the min we don't want to do the throwing thing. Do we want to spend our last bit of money on more seeds? 
what's this guy selling cabbage seeds and his cabbage seeds are four all right so now we're out of money but we got some crops and that's what this is all about right crops so we can grow some crops we have an apple so how far could we actually teleport so we could go to no all right so travel all right this is x we could travel to candle witch we could travel to cuckoo wood but we can't travel to willow down farm or dreamers nook so we need to go back to our i gotta see if there's a goddess stone at our farm i think that would be so we've completed today's task right so if i do this we need to cook a recipe get them to sit and craft craft any recipe at a stove so i think we can go back and find some more jam and stuff at our uh farm shout out if you see any berries along the way i don't know what those little masks mean i'm sure that will be explained to us at some point i want to go back and see because i don't want to waste i mean it seems like days go by kind of fast in this game i'm gonna take the long way around to see if we can see anything Ooh, what's this a new piece of paper and i love paper i love reading has this piece of paper been here all along or is this a proverb blood few a great tip for those who spew chew a leaf of sweet blood few i'm guessing if you get sick you can chew on some blood few i'm guessing that's what spew means i don't know where you're spewing from and quite frankly i don't want to know Right, we still got quite a bit of daylight left let's see if there's any good stuff we can pick i know we have some berry bushes around here because we need to try and cook something and we don't have that many recipes at the moment doesn't look like there's any new apples All right, riding the pig is not super easy give a shout if you see a godstone that i don't see this is where we woke up I think this is where we were daydreaming. There's no godstone here, no godstone here, nothing over here, nothing to do over here except probably some good fishing. Head back over this way. Still got quite a bit of time left, I believe. Come on, pig. All right, if we go down this way, is there a godstone at the farm? That's the quite Ooh, proverb or something. Hoptooth. Hoptooth gives you oomph for night, but also gives you scaredy fright. I'm guessing it lets you stay up late. What is this? All right, what is? All right, that's our map stone. That's not a godstone. That's the map stone we found. And I could be looking right at the godstone and just not even be noticing it. Here's a bunch of stuff laying around. That's south. We haven't been south yet. We do need to go investigate to the south a little bit. Here's this. But this isn't godstones this is just you know every family has their and if i stand here it gets dark if i stand here nothing happens if i stand here there's a vignette okay so if i bring up my map and i can look at my farm do you see anything that looks like a godstone anywhere you know there's nothing over here nothing over here nothing over here maybe at some point we could build one I don't know. Maybe we'll see. Oh, and look, we got carrots. We got some new carrots. I'm gonna go ahead and hop off the pig. I know that's gonna disappoint many of you, but you know, there's more to life than riding pigs. So we're gonna plant some cabbages. What did it say? Not a patch on owning a doll. Oh, I see. Like cabbage patch dolls. Some of you younger kids might not remember them Cabbage Patch doll things. Now, can we just harvest these? Harvest these? Yep. Great for seeing in the dark. All right, so we got that. What does this say? Look at the status of crops to see if they need watering or a ripe. Go away, bird. All right, so we could use. Um... All right, so there's that. Which, and let's see if we can collect some we want to collect some poop? We want to collect some poop? I know you do. Is that, I know we got more proverbs. Oh, great. The proverbs aren't sorted. All right. That's, that's, that's okay. I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to complain. I'm not that type of, type of guy. All right, so if I do this, I do that. All right, containers, wooden bucket. Now, can we carry, is there pig poop in there? There's something steaming over here. 
All right, so um, all right, so now we got pig poop. So now can we go over here and put some pig poop on our crops? And I don't know how. I don't know if the pig poop is permanent. All right, so I don't know what that's going to do for that. All right, so it just left it on the ground. So if we use it here, let's see. I don't understand that. All right, so contain, release, put away. All right, so it just left that on the ground. Okay, so when we're done, it just left a little bit of... Something is already growing there. So we can't pick it up. Once we drop it, we can't pick it up. All right, so here's some berries, though. I'm going to put away the that. i got to pick them up. Ooh, there's our boon. I guess our boon is... I mean, I wouldn't say that was a small chance that we would get an extra berry, right? It looks like we got quite a... Looks like it happened quite a bit. Let's see what we need for our recipe. And tin bucket. Can we get any... Can we get any honey? All right, so... Contain release. Oh, we're still full of... All right, so there we go. All right, so we got a pot of honey. So can we make some sort of jam? All right, so we can make blueberry jam or we can make... Oh, we don't have any mint. So we're going to have to make some more blueberry jam. We can't make any night milk or... Farmer stew yet. We need carrots, cabbages, and pork. I wonder where we could get some pork. Come here, Truffle. Hey, Truffle, come on here. So there's our blueberries. We need two blueberries and honey. A bit of honey. There we go. We got some two star. Get over there. All right, two star honey. Craft that jam. All right, so now, gotta chop them up. Gotta make sure that we don't let our stove get too hot. And each time we add in a, each time we add an ingredient, it's gonna get a little bit cooler. So now we have to add in our honey. I don't know how many pieces it has to be made into, but we need to, let's use the, all right, how do we, oh, we turn it down a little bit. Turn it down a little bit, we gotta keep it at simmering. All right, so now if we go back over here, all right, go back, chop, 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 chop. All right, now we got enough. Scoop it in there. And now we just gotta keep it at simmering for a little while. I'm guessing this is the temperature it needs to be. Keep it. Oh, I'm guessing the blue is too cold, so we wanna keep it right here in the middle. Don't let the jam stay so cold. Sorry. All right, we got blueberry jam. Scent and charm qualities, it's only one star. What was the calculation? Item rating plus one, main game performance was zero. All right, so there we go. So we completed today's task. We made an offering to the gods. This is, talk to Uncle Bill. You run into Lucy Arrows yet? Some folks think she's a bit funny, with all this looking into the past and all, as if anything was different back then. But everyone needs their hobbies. So how are you doing, Uncle Bill? I am good, thanks. What's happening? Have you seen the traveling trader? His boar is absolutely huge. They are a special breed from deepest pine haven. It is said Morina bred them for profit. And I'm sorry, for writing. Not giving you any gifts today, sir. Right, so I'm going to put away my bucket. With the Y button. So now we've done... So we made some jam. So is there any benefit to eating this stuff? All right, so let's look at our jam. Where's our jam? Makes you feel weller. Okay, so if we eat the jam, that tells the time. We these cameras are in a rush. If I need an apple. So let's eat a carrot and see what happens. All right, it did something. All right, so it did that. So now if I look at myself, can I look at myself? All right, so achievements, miscellaneous stats, skills. I don't have any skills. 
How do I look at myself? Game Void. Temporary traits. See in the dark. Insomnia and virility. Okay, so I'm virile. I don't know what that means. So I have, oh. Intelligence is plus two. And toughness is plus two. But insomnia, I don't know what insomnia is going to do, but see in the dark looks like it could be helpful. I guess it makes the world a little bit brighter. And the rain, all right, it's raining, it's watering our plants for us, which is good news. Looks like we got just a little bit of time. Can I go over here and see if I can catch a fish somewhere? Might as well make good use of our time. T-Y, T-I-M-E. I guess the fish aren't out when it's raining. Some fish are like that. Some fish don't like the rain. What is that? Oh, that was my clock disappearing. I mean, my dandelion clock resetting. I can see in the dark, but I don't see any fish. Fish are, oh, there's one. All right, so equip that and then cast right here. See if something bites. Now right button to ripple it. There was a fish there just a second ago. Where'd he go? These fish are so finicky. It's finicky, fickle fish. All right, let's bring it back in. Now watch, as soon as I pull it back in, he's going to reappear. Up oh, there, 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 there. Oh. He went up there. Up there. No, we lost him. I'm a terrible fisher person anyway. Oh, here he comes. Oh, they're hanging out at the pool. All right, let's see what happens. Now they're all running away. All right, he's coming back up here. Let's ripple. Ripple a little bit. There we go. Oh, he got away, dude. Oh, we can throw our line pretty far. It's got to be getting late. I'm not exhausted yet, though. Night fishing. Is there a song called Night Fishing? Drop it right in front of him. Come on. Come on. Darn it. I don't know if I'm just doing it wrong or what. I mean, how hard could fishing be? How hard could fishing be? Come on. Maybe I don't, I was always I was wondering if you're gonna have to get some types of lures and stuff like that. Okay, now it is getting really dark. I think I'm gonna go home and go to bed. So our fishing, our nighttime fishing trip was a bust, but that's okay. Put away, there we go. All right, so there's the house. Everybody's still up though. The cow's still awake. Does the cow need to be milked? I mean, can we even do anything with the milk? I guess we can drink it. All right, so it's time for Betty Bye. Sister's already in bed. Put that away, A, B, X, Y, there we go. And, all right, well, we've appeased the goddesses. We didn't accomplish much else. We made some jam, we did some exploring. We planted some cabbages and carrots. We put some poop on them. The rain watered them for us. All in all, a good day, I would say. And we got some practice using the controller, which will hopefully be not as clunky next time you watch, if you ever watch again. And if you have been watching, thank you so much. And thank you to Mana Forever, one of my newest subscribers. And I will see you soon.